Corpwatch and KPFA Radio are collaborating in a research trip traveling across the country of Afghanistan to take stock of the country seven years after the U.S. asked to the Taliban. In January 2002, we arrived in the northern city of Mazari Sharif to film a country attempting to reconcile democracy in the face of rival warlords of the Northern Alliance. Among the sites we visited was a girls' school destroyed by U.S. bombing, making it hard for the newly liberated children to return to regular classes. Now, the school has been rebuilt with the help of the U.S. military, providing a key opportunity for progress. After that, the Taliban uh, went from Afghanistan, uh, and schools are improving now. Uh, year by year, uh, schools are uh, improving. Yet even though such signs of change have inspired hope among Afghans, there are many who believe the country faces major obstacles. Students from Balkh University in the north and Kabul University in the capital expressed reservations about safety and the fact that international donors have done little for the majority of the population. Uh, the biggest uh, problem in our country is uh, the security. We cannot see any big progress or any big changes and conversions over the life of the people, especially the common people. And government and uh, especially the international community needs to pay attention much on uh, people's life, common uh, people. In the next two weeks, we will bring you news from different parts of Afghanistan about issues ranging from Islam to Reconstruction, from the world of arts to the world of politics. In Afghanistan, I'm Pratap Chatterjee with Ron Nobu Sakamoto.